I've been using a no risk investment for years and made more than 10 million coins every year because of it. In this video, I will tell you everything I know and all tips and tricks that I've learned over the past years so that just with 50 minutes a day, you can make millions too. And the best thing is you only need 50,000 coins to start this investment. So let's just get into it. To explain it briefly, I fill up my club with bronzes and silvers. And whenever SBCs, evolutions or objectives push up the prices, I sell them. But when do you buy? Who do you buy? for what price do you buy when do you sell when do you know that you have to sell i'm gonna tell you all of it and in every chapter there are a few tips and tricks that really help a lot so i would suggest watching the entire video because in my opinion it's worth it obviously we gotta start with getting plays in the club i usually start with silver commons then move on to silver rares and end up with bronze rares we can get silver commons for 150 coins or 200 coins on bid while the silver rares actually have two different price ranges up until 71 rated you can get them for 250 50 coins on bid if you want to get the 72 73 and 74 rated in your club you gotta bid 300 on them since that is their min price range if we take silver commons for example just bid on 50 of them for either 150 or 200 coins and yes that means we don't search for a specific nation or position yet and the price depends on how many you win after you bid on 50 if you win more than 35 keep going at the price of 150 if you win less than 35 i would suggest moving the price up to 200 because we want to keep it time efficient Make sure you set the max price to 150, even if you want to bid 200 of them. Otherwise, you see also all the players that have a 200 bid on them. I also add a min buy now price of 600, so people won't use the buy now option on players that are already bid on. In that way, we keep it even more efficient. There are two important things that you need to know when we bid on players. And the first one is a big one, because you need to wait five minutes between a set of 50 players. This prevents you from getting a temporary market ban, or soft ban as we call it. And this way, you can bid up to one. 1,000 players a day. And to keep it efficient, with those five minutes, you want to open bronze packs. Just open a pack, send every player and manager to your club, quick sell the rest. The bronze pack method is a little bit deeper than that, but I'll keep it at the basics. You could compare price on the players and managers because sometimes they're already up in price, but that's up to you. The other thing that really helps me when mass bidding on players is to skip one player in between. That way you don't bid on every player in the first two minutes. And if someone else goes onto the market to bid as well, they see that it takes a while and then they just get frustrated and outbid you but if you keep one play in between if someone else searches for it they still see enough options to bid on their self and they won't interfere with your bids eventually you will get dupe players but we can make profit on them quickly compare the price of your dupes see if they're worth anything if not just list them for 50 coins higher than you bought them for relist them a few times and if they don't sell just put them to the price that you bought them for and they will sell that way we already make profit while even filling up our club continue this bidding process however long you want and whenever you want but once that arrives Around half of the players that you win on bid are duped, it's time to move on. I would first repeat this with silver rares, and then you could repeat it with bronze rares. And bronze rares you can easily get for 150 coins on bid, but they're very hard to sell if you get dupes of them. But since you already get a lot of them in the bronze pack method, you don't need to do the bronzes. And to be sure, don't bid on bronze commons. They're not worth it. You get them anyways with the bronze pack method. Once you did this for every rarity in your club, you're actually good to go. But if you want to go a little bit deeper, spend a little bit more time on it, and make even more profit you can specify your search instead of searching for just silver common on the market you can add a top nine nation a top league or a position to it and with that just repeat the exact same thing that we did before do it until you get half of them dupe and move on to the next one but since these are a little bit more rare sometimes you don't win enough of them and it's fine to up the price by 50 or 100 coins than the prices we mentioned without specifying anything you could even combine nations positions or nations and leagues but to be honest who has time for that now that our club is filled up it's time to understand when we sell the players and how do we know that we have to sell them if you don't want to spend much time on this SBCs and objectives are your biggest friends a few weeks ago we had international market matchups where we needed a player from greece and guess what they went up in price a lot i was able to sell every single one of them in my club for more than four thousand coins and if you do this right you probably have like 10 20 maybe 30 of them so you make a lot of profit usually market matchups need a certain club and those usually go up in price a little bit as well so every Thursday, be ready at content time because you might make a lot of profit. A few days a week, we also get challenge SBCs from EA and they also make players go up in price. I made an SBC checklist so you know exactly what to look for when a certain SBC drops. Just make a screenshot of this and use it whenever an SBC drops and it will help you out a lot. In general, the harder the challenge or the bigger the reward, the more profit you can make. If we take Total Rush Challenge 3, for example, we got a 50k pack from it. So a lot of people wanted to do it. Using 
one nation here was the easiest choice, but you needed multiple leagues and teams in your squad. So if we take a random Spanish player from a different league than a Spanish league, you can see he spiked up multiple times in price and we could have made a lot of profit if we had him in the club. Therefore, with that SBC, every top nation player from a league they usually don't play in goes up in price. In case you want to spend a little bit more time around content time on those SBCs, you can make even more profit. Fudbin, for example, has solutions to SBCs and the harder a challenge is, the more people go to those solutions to build their squad. Players in these solutions usually spike up in price when they're one of the cheapest teams. Fudbin doesn't adjust the prices of bronzes and silvers quick enough, so the cheapest solutions usually stay the cheapest solutions even if they're not actually cheap anymore. So if we take the same SBC for example, someone is gonna make it of Fudbin solutions by all the gold players, they're left with just one player to buy, Barry for example, they go onto the market, see his 4,000 coins, and since they already put their time and effort into that SBC, they're not gonna find another solution, they're not gonna try and find another player, they're just buying Barry for 4,000 coins. And if we have him in the club, we can sell it to them. So the more you filled up your club, the more of those kind of players we have in our club to sell. But what are the ideal prices to sell? Well, there isn't an ideal price, but usually within the first 20 minutes of an SBC, that's when they're up the most. Just make sure you don't get too greedy and just sell whenever you're happy with it. Check a player a few times a minute, see if he goes up in price. If not, just list him a few hundred coins lower than the current price. If you listen too close to the current price, chances are that he might not sell and you miss out on thousands of coins per player. It's kind of a feeling you need to get for it what price you sell him for, but I'd rather sell a player 1,000 coins cheaper than I could have sold him for than not selling him at all. To make it worth my effort though, I usually don't sell players if they're not up by at least three times the amount that I bought them for. Exceptions are whenever every player is up in price though. Let's take an icon SBC for example. If all the silver rares out of nowhere sell for 500 or 600 coins, I'm gonna sell them all and take that profit. And then I just reinvest in them as soon as the prices drop. We also get evolutions where some players go extinct or go up a lot in price. If you go to websites as Fudbin, EasySBC.io, you can go to the popular evolutions. And if that player is a base bronze or silver player, they're most likely gonna be extinct or up in price a lot. Then we check if we have them in the club and we just sell them. There's one more thing that I need to mention and that is refilling your club. In general, you can do this method every single day whenever you want. But if we take the Greek players, for example, I sold all of them. And once the market matchup ends, they go back down in price and I just buy them specifically. So keep in mind what kind of players you sell so you always reinvest in them after they go back down in price. This way, if they drop it again in a few weeks, we won't miss out on it and can make the profit again. Talking about not missing out, if you found this video useful or enjoy the way I make my videos, make sure to like this video or even subscribe so the algorithm knows to show my videos more often. For now, I made it easy for you and put another video on the screen. You can just click on it. And then I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.